if tempted to take place in stealing, I will see what the cause is for. If it's a Robin Hood type reason, then yes, but if it's evil, then no. I, I still probably believe in that. I, I'll probably steal, I don't really believe in stealing, but I mean, like, I mean, I think I said it pretty well. If it's like a Robin Hood situation where I'm, it's gonna do more good than bad, then I, I will probably do it. But I don't think really I'll steal anything. I've learned more to mind my business. If I were thinking about using drugs, I'll be very cautious about it. Um, very cautious about it. I didn't really want to do drugs. There was a certain small, small around, there was a certain small time where I like, I was thinking about getting into that, but not really attracted to it. I'd rather work out and do sports. When I'm old enough to drive and I have been drinking alcohol or using drugs, I will remember my dad and prime, oh, I will remember my dad and primo then see what I can do besides driving. Uh, Primo is my cousin and my dad. I mean, they drank a lot. Um, and it, it wasn't a, a good thing for me to see. And so whenever, like for me, when it comes to alcohol, I think about my dad and how um, he didn't take alcohol very well uh, in the earlier years in my life. And Primo was just like, he was, really he had a really tough as an alcoholic he could even stay in the united states he had to go back to el salvador and he just couldn't keep the job down it's just always alcohol and yeah it was hard on them if i were pressured again to uh a car being driven by a drunk driver i said i would i said f that f that <laughs> i agree i'm either i'm either fight that's why I said, I'll, no, I said I'll either fight my way out of it, or if I have to take the ride, I'll say to drop me off somewhere and make an excuse for it. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I, I don't think I'll get into car at all, you know, unless I have to. Then, like I said, I'll try to find a way out of it. If someone confided in me that they were serious about attempting suicide, I would try my best to convince them to turn to Jesus. Um, which sounds probably messed up or lame, but... A lot of people probably don't understand that when you are a Christian or so religious about something, it is, to me, Jesus, he was my savior. It, it, it was reality to me. It was my reality. You have your own reality, right? You have your own self, uh, self beliefs uh, and principles and whatnot. And to you, the reality might be that there's no God and that there never was. For me, it was, there was a God, there was, there was Jesus. Um, my savior and that once they would be turned over to Jesus and turn their life over to Jesus uh, everything would be better and then Jesus would help them um, with their troubles um, I don't really believe in that anymore I don't I mean I it might be true I, I'm not atheist I'm, I don't I probably fall in agnostic but I mean I don't I'm not really a follower of uh, religion anymore if my friend told me they were being abused I would I said depends if it's school I'll tell many authorities if I if my parents police or take it to myself and torture the person or just pray yeah that's sick <laughs> uh, because, I mean, one guy was getting bullied, and then I, I told authorities, as in, like, the principal, um, if by parents, police. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think, I'd probably just help them try to get through it as best as I could. Um, I think it's probably up to them to make the decision, unless I feel that I need to take the decision. Um, or take it to myself and torture the person. Um... I mean, that would get me in trouble, you know, and I, that, that's probably just not the smartest move for me to do, so I don't think I'll do that, or just pray, and I don't really pray anymore, so, um, I think it would just, now, I think it would probably just help them as best as I could, so they can vent to me, and I can try to logically help them get to a conclusion. If I had suicidal thoughts, I would turn to Jesus. So I had suicidal thoughts, um, 
I, I didn't really think about killing myself, but I thought, what if I would to just die? I, like, what if I did kill myself? I, I felt that I would leave more of an impact killing myself if I did it the right way. And I didn't turn to Jesus. In fact, that's what was partially some of the conflict that I'd spent like half of my life as a Christian and now I was just unsure. So I, I guess I didn't stick to that word. I, I didn't turn to Jesus, but I mean, I tried. I prayed, but I, I didn't feel like I was getting much out of that. Um, the way I handled it was I, um, well, I got tired of being tired and it was through content creation and, you know, YouTube that I realized I got to make change for myself and I'm still doing it. I'm still going. If my friend told me she was pregnant, I would. <laughs> wow, that's sick. Whoa. Oh. My friend told me she was pregnant. I would laugh behind her back like crazy. Then convince her to do abortion. Um I mean, I think I believed at the time that if one was to be pregnant at a young age, it was completely her fault. Um I just felt at the time that uh it was best to blame the girl and you know, just kind of make fun of them. Like I don't believe I didn't I don't think like, I don't think I believed in actually making fun of them. But I just thought it was humorous that they were so young and they got so pregnant. They got so pregnant that they got pregnant at all at such a young age. And now they are going to ruin their life and convince her to get an abortion. I mean, it's up to her. I'm more pro-choice. Um, so I, I I'd probably just let her like. Actually, I do have a friend that eventually got pregnant. Um, I gotta probably see what's up with her. I never, I didn't laugh behind her back like crazy and convince her to have an abortion. I mean, I, I asked her if she was excited and apparently it was an accident and I just tried to talk to her about it and then she, I don't think she responded after a while, so, yeah. Um, so I, I didn't stick true to that, I, which I guess is good because that kind of looks, sounds really wrong what I wrote there. If I were being pressed into having a sexual relationship, I would do it as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, I don't think I probably fully understood the question. I didn't think, ma at the time, I, didn't think, I did not think that males could get pressured into sex. Because I was, I was thinking about, like, um, a woman pressuring me. And I was like, dude, I'm the man. Like, a woman's not going to pressure me. So I thought of it as, like, a girl wants to get down with me. And that's why I said as soon as possible. If I get, if I felt pressured, um, I mean... I guess if it's good pressure, like if it's like, damn, I really want to have a sexual relationship with that girl, then I think I'm going to go for it. Or maybe not. I don't know. I think I, now I'm just going to think logically about what's the best thing to do um, and just go off that. And if that means do it as soon as possible, then I'll do it. Something that scares me about becoming sexually act active is... Oh, something that scares me about becoming sexually active is... Busting too fast and not being in good enough shape. I mean, those are, those are things that I can train for. You could actually train and not bust too fast. And being in good enough shape, um, probably like subconscious about my body, but both those things I could change. You know, whenever I, I need to, you know, um, get down with a girl like that. If I were to do something that would emotionally hurt another person, I would see why. If it's for a good reason, then yeah. I mean, I think I felt like there was payback. I think I felt that payback was just, and so I think that's probably what I said. That why I said that. If I could choose a type of charity or organization where I could help people, I would choose the Seventh Day Church for my ten percent. Wow. All right. So, um, as a Seventh Day Adventist, um, you are supposed to give ten percent of your earnings to the church, um, and. I think at the time I wanted to eventually, I, I wanted to build up church and spread the word of Jesus Christ at the time, and so I think that's why I said that. I was just I was religious at the time. Many eighth graders have specific goals they wish to accomplish. Please list your goals and the approximate date you would like to have them completed by. I said, finish, and I said year 2016. So finish. I think I probably meant sexually finish. 
I mean, I don't know what else it could be. Oh, no. <sighs> no, finish, as in finish like eighth grade. And th that that's the year that I I was in eighth grade was 2016. I, I said finish. I didn't even hit my head. <laughs> this final part is for things you want to say to yourself for the future. It may be a self-promise, a pledge to someone else, a reminder about sticking to your goals or some other message. Hey, Amen. Whoa. I'm actually talking to myself. Hey, Amen. Never forget to be a kid. Oh, quote unquote, always be a kid at heart. Number one. Number one from Codename Kids Next Door. And always have Jesus. Then live up to that. Be appreciative. Live up to that. When a kid is annoying or Andrew is a jerk, just remember how you were at that age. And then I wrote a little, and I typed, I typed? I drew a little, like, sad crying face. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Live, laugh, learn, love, lust. Make mom and especially dad proud before they die. I, I think I changed that. Especially dad? No, not especially my dad. I think I want to make them happy? Make them proud before they die. I don't know if I made them proud. I don't know if I ever, ever truly made my parents proud. And me. I don't think that hurts me. I don't think it really hurts them. I think they've been proud of me of, of things before. They know, they told me that they were proud of me. They've told me that, so I think I've accomplished it. Yeah. P.S. Make some gains and avoid Snap City. <laughs> it's a Hot Twins thing. Uh, make some gains, like muscle gains, and then avoid Snap City. Snap City is what happens when you snap your stuff. You, you're trying to go on shoulder press, you go too heavy, you're in Snap City when this starts like snapping and then you're injured. So, so don't go to Snap City. I've never, I don't think I've been to Snap City. Ah, PS, make some gains. Also, be sure to bust some nuts. And then it's typed over here. You own the key to your success. Good luck. I think evidently a lot of stuff has changed from them. Um, I'm not Christian anymore. I think I always stayed true to being a kid. Um, my teacher, an old white man, is, told me and the rest of the class that I'm a senior, or we're juniors and seniors. This is not the time to be uh, immature, like you gotta act your age. <laughs> and I always laugh at that, quietly laugh. I, I, I understand what he's trying to say, I think. He just doesn't want, like, misbehavior he the teacher as long uh, uh, the teacher along with everybody else who works there or is a student there I think wants things to go smoothly and if we're like you know being a-holes or something like that or like just making things harder he's gonna try to make that not happen right he, and the way he said it was to be mature act my age I don't think I'll ever act my age unless it's I believe in maturity if it's physical I like physical maturity. I like to see physically mature women. I, I actually like that maturity, but I'm a five-year-old. Um, I I hate maturity. Uh, I've been told a lot in my life that I have, I'm a mature young man. Um, I just I despise maturity. Actually, I always like to say that I'm being smart. If it's if it's something in class and I'm being quiet and respecting other people. I don't think that's maturity. I think that's me being smart and understanding the situation and acting accordingly uh, to what I think is going to be the de the best decision at the time. I am not mature. I hate maturity. Um, I don't think there's times to, that you need to be mature, unless of course physical maturity when it's sexual. You mean when you have to be professional? You mean professionalism? You mean respect? Because those are different from maturity. I had those things when I was five or nine. I feel like I connect with 10 year olds, 12 year olds a lot because I once was 12 years old, 10 years old and younger and older on YouTube, on the internet and nobody respected my age group because we were all 12 years old and things were different at the time, yeah? But they weren't being considerate to my age group and it was kind of demeaning to us as 12 year olds, 10 year olds because I could, 
I could understand what they were saying. I could respond as another human being, as logical as I possibly could. Although, of course, I wasn't fully developed. And it's evident that my beliefs and viewpoints have, have changed since then. But it doesn't mean that I, I should have been, that my opinions should have been less respected at the time. And that I should have been less respected. So I feel for kids. And I feel that I am a kid. And I stuck true to that. As for Christianity, I don't know, I, I might come back to it. If I were, like, believe in it again. Um, but I just try to start talking to me about it. I mean, I'll probably try to prove you wrong. And then probably will prove you wrong in a lot of things. I don't want to really put it into a video right now. Because it might really uh, break someone's heart. Once they watch a video and then I'm the one to convince them that it's wrong but then again it could be a good life changer for them so I don't know I might make that video but that's my letter that I wrote to myself at eight, uh, at eighth grade since then I met a girl that changed my life I've let friends you know come and go and memories form and I've taken a step into life and a lot of the time spent has been depressed, very depressed and sad. But I got myself out of it. Not all by myself, I had help, but I am, I am the one who changed my life. And I hope those people that I've left behind still understand that I love them. Even if I don't talk to them anymore. If they were in a situation where they were about to die, I would I would save them. I, I would. I think I would save them. I, I have a passion I, I'm passionate about helping people and if they wanted to talk or whatever I'd I'll still be here. my letter. Hope you enjoyed. Love you all. Thank you so much. I've come a long way and I haven't even gotten started.